they did to me for liposuction. I saw everything. I saw everything. I was not sleeping during liposuction. I saw everything. And I had to listen to men just, yo, with the things that they were saying to me while that shit was being done to me, you have no idea how degrading this shit was. And Nicki Minaj walks around like this shit is funny to these people. Like this is funny to these motherfuckers. Wait until this shit happens to their kids or this shit happens to them. I didn't have a problem with my body. I could have been bigger from three babies, but I didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't care about how I looked. I loved myself just the way I was. Now, Diddy and them might have cared and given me that. My mother might have cared about how I looked. But these people, I don't understand how they have so much power over your body. They was, look. They was giving me abortions already. They was giving me liposuction. They was th- they was giving me all kinds of drugs. They was doing shit to me already. So all y'all talk about, y'all scared because y'all can't have an abortion? What if they give you forced liposuction you don't even have a choice? That's what happened to me. Forced liposuction because your mother don't like your gut? My mother don't even have a fucking uterus. She don't got a fucking uterus. My mother does not have a uterus. I think uterus costs 60 grand. Yup. If you sell your uterus, your shit, that's 60,000. Straight up. If you don't want no more babies, you can sell your fucking whole uterus. What the fuck? Who want to take a uterus? A goddamn tranny that might want to... Uh, 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 one of those things. I mean, you know, if, if cursing is all I do and you don't like the way I talk, well, then you know what? <sighs> Sorry. You're not going to tell girls, you was this person, you that person, you this person. We took your kid. We want to kill you. I think people were shooting at you. Yeah, they. I think they might have pissed in your shit. I think they did this to you, you know, or something like that. Or something like that. And then you got these cards, and y'all got new earrings and different hair every week. And then we in the military with guns, nuclear missiles. AK-47s, cannons, weapons of mass destruction, shooters, hitters, gangbangers. All kinds of niggas that fuck with us. Because we loyal to this country. Because we protected their families. When, when shit was rough. And then you girls is going to try to come around me and say, uh-uh. They did this to you. They, oh, you had to take one for the team. Take one for the team? Nicki Minaj is walking around calling herself Trinidadian and I'm Trini Cuban and what? The, what? American? What? Irish? Whatever? Y'all want DNA? Y'all want special DNA? Y'all got my DNA. Y'all crying. Because the DNA probably had PTSD. <laughs> You taking military government DNA and giving it to celebrities. The DNA already got issues like from the wars. So the DNA is like kill a DNA. Kill a DNA. Ain't nobody calm. Mm-mm. And then you're going to get Al Sharpton. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like, what the fuck? His big ass head. Gotcha. Tawana Brawley. Gotcha. I ain't no motherfucking Tawana Brawley. I can speak up for my motherfucking self. I don't need no goddamn pastor. I am the fucking pastor. Shit. 
gonna tell me I need. Oh, she's a pastor and she curses. You know what? But y'all, you know what? I'm not a nun. Don't look for that. I'm a street hooded minister type girl. I get sit in. I don't have to sleep with nobody to, to tell people what's right and wrong. I, don't, I know what's right and I know what's wrong. You know, I don't like the way you're talking to me. Well, then I don't like the way you robbed my house, bitch. Fuck you. I don't like the way you broke in my fucking, my fucking storage unit and showed me masterpiece music. Like, you know, we, we stole your shit. You want me to help you look for it? You know, these niggas, Mercedes gonna get an ass kicked. That bitch ain't safe. She walking around thinking she fucking safe. That bitch will never be safe. Not as long as I'm telling the truth. Ain't nobody gonna be wanting to deal with her little herpy ass. She came to my house. Acting all innocent. That's what this shit so fucked up about this girl. How she do people. When I got that movie job. I was wondering why she. You know. She was like. Oh that's nice. This and snap. I was like. Oh you want to work for us? Come on through. No. She the one that was behind it. Like she the one that actually was behind the whole thing. Like, Diddy and them had to pay her off to lure me down there when I already signed up for the film festival. Diddy goes and gets one of his peoples in Mount Vernon Cop Department to do a movie about, similar to me, called Deep. These people don't have enough balls to tell me what really happened to me. They playing with me. They making me come up with what happened. I really don't know. I'm coming up with my own scenarios based on what happened to me. But the government, whatever's going on with me, this is a CIA military thing that they did. And they won't tell me the truth. They making us go to the... They making us go to Twitter and look at like white men saying we're truly sorry. They making us go like, like we're not getting no letters from Kamalia saying sorry. She's playing with us, with the Twitter, with the, with the memes and stuff. This is how they're communicating to us. They're not apologizing for any of the things that they did when they already been sleeping with people like Montel Williams. Having threesomes and shit with famous people. Hating on the girls that actually worked for him and never had sex with him. We never did anything with a Montel Williams. But she has. So she walks around hating on girls that actually know these people. And we work for these people. But the president and the vice president, they're walking around because we, cause we're like... Free um, speech type people. And they don't like that because we like to tell the truth. And they like to sit around with a mask on their mouth and fucking lie about everything. Can I get a witness? I mean, the truth is the truth. And then you know I'm sitting over here. I want to show you that footage with Princess. I know she ready to come out the closet. Because you know why? She wanted to be relevant. She wanted to be relevant. Because I wasn't paying that bitch no attention. I wasn't paying Princess no attention like that. We was all on Facebook. And then all of a sudden they steal my shit. And think it's a joke. When people really ended up dead. That's why this shit is ugly. Because they thought that I would stay in this spell. This um, Jay-Z, Rockefeller, you know, Rico laws and, you know, fear of a black planet spell. Then when you wake up, you like, motherfucker, you fucking germ agent ass bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up. 
That's how you feel when you wake up. You do not feel like, oh, come here, Donald. Let's get together again after you robbed me. I love you. And then the wife, and then his, and then his girls is looking at her like, hurry up, kill her, kill her. Run over her. You have babies by us now, Donald. She's up now. We tried to kill her. Donald, she's going to come for us. Now they all need bodyguards and shit. Because I'm not going to do shit. I'm just telling my story. But what happens is, when I tell my story, it sends those messages out to my, my goons. Yeah, I got goons too. My thugs and divas. Yeah, I have a following. And it's really big worldwide. And everyone knows. So when I talk, I'm like, if motherfucker hut. And when I talk, it's like E.F. hunting up in his bitch. Because I speak wisdom and knowledge. We don't like your voice. I don't give a fuck. I have never had a voice. I never had a voice. Chance sits around, you know, works for Federal Express and drops off, you know. It's hard out here for a pimp. Bitch, who you talking to? Me? This is what Chan told me when I was a child. Before you date anybody and sleep with them, make sure you get $1,000 from them. I never did that. No, I'm the dumb one. I love you. Yes. You don't have... No. Yeah, I'm not the greedy type of girl. That's why I complain a lot, I guess, because I don't look at men like, oh, could you buy me this? Could you get my hair done? Oh, could you do my nails? Oh, uh, yeah, I would go shoes over there because I'm too independent. Right. I do what men do, but I'm a girl. And I want to look pretty and I want to be sexy and I like all that shit. Or I could put on a space shoe or, you know, some motherfucking coveralls and get down and dirty with your ass. I don't give a fuck. I like money. But I also like philanthropy, which means giving back. But I also expect something back for donations. I do. I expect it. Because I don't expect money. So you're going to either give me the house, you, you know, with no payments. You're going to give me the car with no payments. Like, literally, it's more than that you owe me. That's the least you can do. Besides acting like a Jew, you know, some cheap ass motherfucker who trying to kill an older lady who's actually young because she don't really do nothing to nobody. She don't do shit. Oh, her shit is preserved. You going to try to fuck my shit up because I look better than your bitch. I look better than these bitches. I know that. And that's what I know. <laughs> I fit right in with these little whores. Throw on a dress, all that shit hanging out. I don't give a fuck. Or put on something holier than thou. A suit. Yes, would you like a job today? Talk correctly. But when I'm on my podcast, and this is who I am, you getting the real me. You getting real. Like, I can't ask for a better Kelly. I'm sitting on the toilet, chilling in the goddamn... You know, videotape bathroom with pool in. <laughs> this is fabulous. This is the best shit ever. You know what I'm about? Got to change the toilet paper. You know? When you podcast like me, you podcast with Putin. They watching you online. They don't give a fuck. I don't care. They watching me. I do not care. I literally don't care no more because what? What do I have to hide? Exactly. <laughs> shit. I ain't got shit to hide. Put some cameras up in here. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got shit to hide. What? I ain't selling no drugs up in this bitch. That's not what I do. Mm-mm. 
Ain't nobody having no motherfucking sex up in here. That's not what I be doing in here. And so, you know what I'm saying? They looking for something. What she doing? Who she with? Who she fucking? Let me watch her. Let's pay the police. Police officer, I'll take the money to watch this bitch. She, she not doing nothing. No, all she doing is yelling about niggas watching her. Exactly. Exactly. That's the only thing I'm mad about. Like, niggas setting you up for a scan. And you thinking this shit is a real house. I should have known that the first house would be to fuck some fuck shit. <laughs> I should have known that. Because the first house I had had a pool, jacuzzi. But it was a used... It was a used hotel. <laughs> it was like some hotel house. Like a timeshare house. Like a villa house. I was like, I'll take it. I don't give a fuck. Shit is already furnished. I'm moving in with a bag. Everything else I got going in storage. I don't give a fuck. Come on in. Child, I was going to live in that house. Yes, I was. It was furnished and everything. I still want a house like that. <laughs> the furniture come with it. Yup. Everything in the motherfucking house is yours. Tell me I want to buy me another house like that. I don't want no Putin cameras in there, though. I think that's fucked up. But no, I don't hate y'all. I just wanted you to know. I, you know, I'm in the military. Yeah, I can talk crazy. We all do. But, um, you know, trains and shit. I don't give a fuck. Um, school shootings. Y'all been doing that. I don't, I'm, t I'm done. Um, prison reform. I'm done. Um, gun. Re I'm done with all that. Yeah, literally. It's old. It's it's like cocaine politics. It's boring. It's it's typical. Yeah, it's ugh, boring. Um, you try to stop people from making money. I don't even want to make money with y'all no more. Mm -mm. Cause you don't make money with me. You just watch me make money and steal from me. So I don't really give a fuck about y'all like that no more. You steal everything. This is a stealing app. This app is fraud to me. This is fraud. Whatever y'all motherfucker, fraud, bitch. Hi, bitch. Fraud ass motherfucker. Y'all NFL ass, gay ass niggas, it's fraud. What? Y'all sitting y'all little, you know, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. We're going to bring him down to break his legs. Yeah. <laughs> Walk on him talk. I'm going to grab him by the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, OJ. <laughs> yeah. You think about what I just said. I'm already married. Oh, he wants a divorce. Well, tell him he's got to sign my papers now. He's got to sign my papers now. Oh, I'm getting a divorce. Yes, I am. My way. Billy Maurice Faulkner. Teresa Faulkner. Guess what? You want to be sued. Yup. You about to get sued. And the NFL is going to help me. Ha ha. Ha ha. The NFL is going to help me sue my husband. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Yup. I'm going to get my friends. They work for the NFL. I know some NFL lawyers. Some people with some lawyers. Some good ass motherfuckers to help me. Yup. Because it ain't right what he did. I heard he was doing meth. Yup. 15 years of fucking meth. Damn, that's fucked up. 15 years of meth, meth, cocaine meth. Selling it in trucks. <laughs> 
with your brothers and shit. That's fucked up. That's what he did to my son. My son said he was coming to live with me when I was at City West. He asked me for $90. I gave him $90. He didn't ever come. He lied. I thought he was coming. I was happy. I said, my son is coming home. My son, he's coming. Lies. Lies. Him and his father. Lying to me. So, they... Steal my page in Markeith Lloyd with the cop distraction. Steal my page from Facebook and uh, they start doing shit to me. The pulse and all that. Shooting cops and shit. Fucking bastards. Putting people out there. Making us feel guilty about going to certain schools and stuff. You know, making us feel bad about having an education at a certain school because they done infiltrated your school. They be in our schools doing violence down here in Florida. Yeah, they in our schools. Whenever we go to school, they be trying to stalk us in the school. Nobody knows that they doing this to us. We trying to tell you that they be in the schools, the people from the Bahamas and the people from Haiti, they be in our schools with Mercedes, stalking our kids, doing gang operations on our children, gang stalking our children for child support. Yup. Yup. New York City bringing all of that shit down here because of Walter McKee. Peterson and his father. Gang stalking girls. Gang stalking baby mothers. Gang stalking the guys. Gang stalking everybody. Because they sitting around selling cocaine in Henrico, Virginia. With the goddamn senators and shit. And the police and shit up there. Uh, you know, with the heroin and shit. And we sitting down here waiting for child support. They over here spreading germs on people. Exactly. Right. The shit is not even funny. It's not funny. We know about this. We know the shit that they doing. We know what they doing to the girls in the strip clubs. We know they putting that shit on them. And then they, then they bring them down to Florida to test out the operation. You feel me? It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Because Time Warner said, anything that they do, anything that they do, I'm going to tell you straight up. They come and test that shit down here for me. If the shit work down here, then they fucking bring it up there. Yup. Yup. They test shit here. Yep. So, we be dealing with that shit. They be testing us here. A lot of times we be test. And they see how we act towards certain shit. How we acting. And this is, you know, they put us in movies and avatar and shit. But they threaten us. They, you know, put black eyes on us. You know, beat us up. You know, did you know, TMZ and shit, families on TMZ and shit, all kinds of shit. And then, and then, you know, you stuck in these fucking houses and shit. And then, you you can have the house if you want it. I don't know, whatever. But they like set you up. And you're not thinking like, oh, I'm in the house they set me up in. No. You think, oh, this is my first house I got. I got it. <laughs> nah, bitch. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. Supposed to be looking at you in the house and shit. My son put this nice little toilet seat. You know. If I leave, I'm taking the shit with me. <laughs> Word. Oh, God. <laughs> 
But yeah, they don't know what I know. You know what I know? It's in my brain. So it's never going to leave. So every time they fucking lying, I know they lying. I hate lying. I don't care how much fucking footage you got. I don't give a fuck. Everybody got footage. Nobody gives a fuck what you do, what you say. Just give us our money so we can go ride some horses and go into the wilderness and live our life and not fuck with y'all no more. You you know what I mean? You're like, but we want to do it with you though. No. No. No, you got to listen to what I say. You don't listen, you're not going to do shit with me. People don't want to listen. You want me to listen to you. I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you. You're going to listen to me. The fuck? No, you're going to listen to us. No, I'm not listening to y'all fucking bitches. Act like they running your fucking pussy. Fuck y'all. Fuck the fucking slave owning ass motherfuckers. Fuck the slave owner. Fuck the I don't give a fuck. Fuck them people. Word. Fuck them. I been there said that and fucking bullshit ass fucking Rodney King bullshit. Fuck them motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. Acting ass bitch. All these niggas wanna fucking be actors. Fucking weirdo. Tired of them. Tired of them. You want to be a fucking actor. Act harder, Biggie. Biggie, act harder. Act harder. I think Bruce got that footage. Some nigga in South Carolina walking around. Act harder, Biggie Smalls. You know they're not going to believe you. You need to act a little harder, sir. Act like you're really a gangster. Jesus. You know, just can you hit the table a little bit harder so the money can fly off the table? <laughs> you know, hey, you. It's like this. This is how they, this is how they treat you. This is how they treat you in Hollywood. Hey, you, girl over there. Come here. You're like, no, I'm here to, to do interviews with Spinderella. <laughs> You're like, I'm here to do an interview with Spinderella. Yes. And they're like, no, you, come here. <laughs> get down there. And you're like, what? They're like, you know, you, come here, get down there. Wardrobe. And I'm like, huh? I don't think so. I did this before. I don't, this is not the role I'm taking. White women think they could talk to you just like that. Okay. This is what I'm telling you, how they treat you. That's that whole Weinstein shit. <laughs> hey, you, get over here. Is that bitch locked up? Okay, so good. Hey, you, because that's how they talk to us. And I'm like, but I just, I, I serve this cunt. Bitch, get over here. What? And then the girls in the military, oh, they worse. Lick my clit like a white woman told me and look slander okay this is what i'm telling you i have the dirtiest mouth because of these women doing these dirty traumatic things to me so he trauma bonds with me by doing these uh, <laughs> abortion like they always want to whine either they whine because they want an abortion or they don't want an abortion or they want a pill or they don't want a pill or the nigga said, if you kill, if, if if I have your baby, you know, if you have an abortion, I'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? That's what these niggas down here say. If you have your, if you have an abortion, I'll kill you. You kill my baby, I'll kill you, bitch. Like, so you have their baby. You know what I'm saying? They going to kill your ass anyway. But, uh, you know, you take care of their kid. Now they want to kill you for real. Here comes the kill because they locked up with R. Kelly. And you free having a great time. They like, no, bitch. You just know you can't be free because I'm locked up. Well, did you punch me in my face? 
because you don't pay for your children? Or did you punch me in my face because I was taking you to work every day? So, yeah, they punch you in your face because you take them to work every day. Uh, no, you're not punching me in my face no more. That's what they do. When you're nice to these people that are gang members that was sent to you by your mother, you can't be nice to you. They will hide the fuck you up. I just wanted you to understand that. Like, a lot of people sent people to you to make your life miserable. Like, what? You wouldn't even think that would be... an option for people to even challenge you like that. But when you're dealing with diabolical nurses and people that know like mental patient scams and like, I'm talking, you gotta be real dark. Like the unsane movie, go to the unsane movie. Cause that's the only movie that was in my iPad. It's something that resonated with me how these people be in the hospitals and Donald and them, they got these these jobs and they know doctors and lawyers how they try to set people up to go to the hospital so they can give you drugs and fuck up your brain. Well, this is what I'm telling you. That is what they do in this country to people in the military, people in prison systems, people who have bad relationships with their family members and or maybe they, they, they know you have an inheritance or something and they're stealing money from you. Because they literally knew whoever my mother had sex with, they must have had money. Something about the family I had sex with, I mean, my mother had sex with the family or whatever. Or somebody in my family left me something. I don't know. They keep saying that. I don't know. I could get this message, but... The way my family treat me and what I see on TV, I can see that the work that I was doing, my cousin, she was sitting up in White Plains and Nielsen ratings, working with, all right, she know all the musical ratings, which is sound scare. Everybody's paying her $500 for the company so that these rappers could be rappers, but they all coming through me, right? And then they go through these major networks to get these record deals. They go through the record label. If you're independent, I was like, go see my cousin. She never broke me off for anything. She never, like, you know, she never started a relationship, even though she could have been on the opposite end of my, my job. Uh, DJ Wired and Rebel Black always talked about sound scans. Because my cousin worked down there. So my Aunt Carol, she's a nurse. She came down to live with me. and I mean, to stay with me. And she's like, could you give me some universal tickets? But she didn't bring Andrea. She bought Diamond and J.R. Richard. Right. And that's how the scam started with Carol, I guess. Sharice came down. She wanted to stay. I, Candy was supposed to come down. She came with Taylor. Nope. They locked me in Walmart. There was a shooting. Exactly. Uh-huh. These people have been trying to get me a long time. They've been trying to hurt me. I don't know why. Candy and her husband... They've been doing this to girls that they probably took pictures of and put us in penthouse when we were little girls. Yeah, something with Rock Hill, South Carolina, and the YGs, and Gregory Trotman, and Wu-Tang Clan, and Comey, and all of these damn FBI agents. They, like, trafficked us or something. So it's like, I, I, get, I get, like, traumatically, I get my PTSD, I yell, I scream, and Donald, he calls me at 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning. I don't, I really never sleep because remember Diddy told us never to sleep, like sleeping is forbidden. So the last time I, I was asleep, the buildings came down, right? So I don't want to, I don't want the, I don't want to be asleep like that no more. So I stay up all the time. I don't care. I just stay up. I don't give a fuck. I sleep when I sleep. 
That's why I can't have no man around me. Because I'm always up. And most men, they like to sleep. <laughs> and go to bed. I don't like to go to bed. I'd rather stay up. But I want to make music. I was making beats earlier. I made this beat. And I want to be on the radio. That's the radio is here. But I'm just saying. I get mad. I get mad. And then, you know, I used to be like a teenage girl. When I get mad, girls like bully me and stuff. Like, psh, we be fighting. Like, just have a fight. And just, man, then the bitch want to be your friend. That's what's going on. We're like, we like girls having real fights. And then eventually, we're like, yeah, we sisters. So, you know, it's no big deal. But it's like, we got to fight from our house. We can't really punch each other in the face. You know what I'm saying? You can write a meme about a bitch. But let that, let, look, if this shit ain't real, it ain't real. If it's real, I fart. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I fart in your face. I fart. I don't give a fuck. If I gotta fart, I'm farting. I'm not gonna hold this shit in my chest. Be like, oh, I gotta fart. I'm going to the bathroom. Yeah, I'm going to the bathroom to fart. But if I ain't got no bathroom, bitch, I'm letting the fucking shit out. I don't give a fuck. Your room, your shit smell like a fucking garbage bin. And you are, your fucking sheets got cum all over it. I'm farting in your fucking room. I don't give a fuck. Nasty motherfuckers. Y'all niggas got guns in your drawers waiting for me to fart, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. She know who I'm talking to. Whoever it is, the cop on Mercedes Street who's trying to set people up at 40 Fowl Street. 4087 Fowl Street. Fucking trap hoe. Fucking hoe ass bitch. And she got the hottest in the fucking hood. Stupid ass fucking bitch. Car accident ass bitch. Her and Don Apollo. Fucking bitch. Killing people for fun, yo. Yo, you don't understand. You The reason why you got to stay in the house, because you don't want to catch the karma that those niggas is getting. What's the karma? I don't know. I'm not sitting back here. I don't know how to play in a car accident. That's them. Oh, we gonna put you in the conspiracy. Now nah, the conspiracy is on Twitter. They got a bunch of car. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Truck accidents, car accidents, all recorded. Like everything just dumped on the computer. I'm not even playing. It's a tragedy. Because I do remember that car accident that she did with Rick Ross in front of me. He's like, stop crying. Yo, this nigga sitting in a White House in Miami talking about stop crying. They about to do an earthquake so he don't have a house. Talk about come to my crib. Nah, I'm going to Greece. I'm going to buy me a house in Greece. Somewhere else. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the earthquake. Putin and them, they want to play what? We want to play soccer. No, we want to play uh, hockey. We don't feel like having no peace talks. Exactly. Chance the rapper want to play hockey. I want to play hockey. <laughs> I want to do hair, right? I just want to do fucking hair. Like, just do a few braids. Some fucking braids on somebody. I don't know. My own son. I don't know what I want to do sometimes. I sit in the house and I'm like, yeah, I want a job doing what? That's the question. This, whatever I'm doing right now. She's not ready. She's not healed yet. She's not healed the way she should heal. It's like, you're right. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not healed the way I should heal. I know I'm, I know I'm, I don't want to be with these people no more. I know I'm at that level in the game. I know for a fact, like, there's a chopping thing I did. Like, literally. There's some people I just cannot see ever again. 
Those people have been eliminated out of my life. That's just the way it is. They always was eliminated out of my life. But when you live in the same town with certain people, they think they could bully you out your house. Like, what the fuck is that? This bitch is that evil. She was at my house. Now she's trying to bully me out my house. I'm thinking, I just did your hair. How the fuck you go from doing a person hair to her having so much envy towards you because she's having sex with Donald? they probably been having sex since high school. Don't they go to Evans High School and shit? Well, she gonna do her shit with the... She gonna do her... Her... her uh, political school event. You know. How to get Kelly caught up. Well, she listened to Christian music. And she, she listened to the nation. So we gonna ask them to come down. She gonna listen and come and meet everybody. Then we gonna fucking rob her. Yeah, we gonna get the Benegals to do like a crip thing. Like these crip memes. Everybody gonna have crip memes. All right, y'all? We gonna, oh, that's what, this This is how I think they talking, right? We all gonna get together, right? And we gonna start doing like our seeds on each other's shoulders at the game. All right? Then we gonna make these gifs, right? <laughs> I could just hear these people doing this stuff. Like somebody had to direct what I'm saying. Because it really happened. Who's throwing seeds on us? The fucking crips from... Yo, this shit has been going on since the 80s. Men just throwing seeds on girls. Yes. You got to hear me out. I'm looking at pictures with my husband. I was sitting on his lap, right? He's my husband, right? He's throwing a C on the chair like I could see it in a picture. It, it's so subtle. It doesn't look like they're doing it, but they're doing it. Because one time he took me and... He dunked me in the water with a black hoodie. Then, that means he's a Satanist, I guess. Then, um, yep. So I had to go back to church and get baptized and get that shit off me. <laughs> this time, if I get baptized again, I, I know once you get saved, you always say, but I'm a little bit raunchy right now. One day I'll probably be a little bit more <gasps> choirish. But right now, I'm coming out the rap game, and I had to catch a few souls. Like, at least, hey, you guys, come with me. Some of them listen. Some of them don't. Some people listen. Some people don't. Some people listen and just don't give a fuck. They'll just do whatever the fuck they want, but they still go to church. They still do the work, you know, like, donating to the homeless or some shit. But... <laughs> That's what he think he doing for me. Well, I'm donating to the homeless. I put you in the house. You don't appreciate it. I put a ring on your finger from the pawn shop. You ain't like it. I lost it when I was swimming. I don't know what that ring is. <laughs> Fuck is a coney ass ring. They trying to make it look like you got a diamond ring or something. These bitches on the internet. Fucking gay ass bitch. Acting like I got a real diamond ring. Fucking pawn shop ass shit. They need to stop fucking with us. Leave us alone. Stop making it seem like these niggas are spending money on us. Oh, he's giving to a third party. Yeah, it's my money, bitch. I know it's my money because everybody else out here is 16 people had a lawsuit out here. And I'm the only one that didn't get their money. It's only because I got a fuck boy for a, a baby daddy or... Whoever put me here. The baby daddy, the husband, or Donald. One of them niggas put me here. 
The one that got a lot of houses in his name is probably my baby daddy. Yep. Set me up just to rob me with the NFL and, you know, do some stupid shit with Donald. Because Donald was real upset when Pete came to visit me. Oh, shoot. The thing moved. Yup, Donald was pissed. But I didn't do nothing with my baby father. Exactly. There was no sexual tension. But he did drink a pint. That nigga got drunk as fuck. And then I had to send his ass to on a plane. So the rapists, they be real nasty men. They don't really care about you. They setting you up the whole time. They never liked you. They really want to kill you. You understand? So you know these men, or this man, wants you dead because he raped you. He, he Right. And your chosen life, they, he's fucking up. He even faked his death to try to murder me. Like, what type of person is this dude, Walter McGee Peterson Jr. and Walter McGee Peterson Sr.? Like, these two people think they could just walk around the neighborhood with my mother, setting girls up, putting germs on people, using politicians, you know, having wild sex with gay girls and gay guys and, you know, pinning shit on people, putting germs on people. And they don't think one day is over. And we're not talking about jail. What they did is horrendous. Absolutely. Uh, it's Everyone says it's unreal, unbelievable, and it is. It is unbelievable what happened to me. This shit is not even funny. I want to play the horses. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go see my horses play again. I love my horses, man. I miss playing my horses, but when you shut the country down, it's like, Let me concentrate on something else. And then I found out what I found out. And I can't believe what I found out. 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 Want to hear my song? I can't believe what I found out. Listen to my beat. I'm going to let y'all hear my beat. Here we go.